Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's talk about the sign of the curvature of a curve. Well, the curvature of a curve can either be zero, if it's a straight line, or it could be positive, or it could be negative. So how do we decide, how do we determine whether or not the curvature is a positive quantity or a negative quantity? Well, it depends on two things. First of all, the direction of travel on the curve, which is really important, which then determines how you find the angle between the positive x-axis and the unit tangent vectors along the curve. Secondly, you need to see as you travel in the direction of travel, whether or not those angles get bigger or those angles get smaller. So here we have four examples that should illustrate how to determine that. So our first example is the one from the previous video. Here we're traveling along the curve right here. Notice that we have the tangent unit vectors drawn and it's important to know which direction you're going to travel on the curve because if you travel in the opposite direction, of course, unit tangent vectors will have a very different direction and the angle between the positive x-axis and the unit tangent vectors will then also be different. But here you can see that this is clearly the angle between the x-axis and the tangent unit vector, x-axis tangent unit vector. And notice as you travel along the little blue arrows here, which indicate the direction of travel, you can see that the angles become smaller. As the angles are getting smaller, that means that the curvature is going to be a negative quantity. Here in this case, notice we're also traveling in this direction, but now the curve curves in an, a different way. Notice that the angle between, and here I didn't draw the angle right there, but there's a small little angle between, well actually there's no angle because I guess the angle is zero because it's the angle between the positive x-axis and the unit tangent vector looks like they're pointing in the same direction. So there you can see that in this case the angle is zero. Here the angle is bigger, angle is bigger again. You notice that the angle is becoming bigger as we're traveling along the curve. Angle is getting bigger, mean that the curvature is a positive quantity. Over here, we can see that we have the same curve as before, but now we're traveling the opposite direction, noted by the blue arrows. The angle is determined from the positive x-axis to the direction of the tangent unit vector, so that would be this phi here, there's phi again, there's phi again. Notice that the angles are now getting bigger. It's about 180 degrees there, but it's more than that here, and definitely more than that there. If the angle is getting bigger, that means the curvature is positive. So notice the very same curve, but traveling the opposite direction, you get the opposite sign for the curvature. And in this case, you travel along the curve like this. Notice the angle from the positive x-axis to the tangent unit vector is this angle right here. Notice as we travel along the curve, the angle is getting smaller. Getting smaller means that the curvature is therefore a negative quantity. And that's how we determine the sign of the curvature of any curve.